Okay, so the updates for both uh, the global servers as well as NA servers have dropped and I'm gonna be covering both of them. To make it easier, first I'm gonna be covering changes that affect both servers. After that, I'll be covering the changes that affect the NA server only and lastly, the global servers only. So if you wanna only find specific parts, you can use the uh, what they're called uh, YouTube chapters uh, and switch to first of all both news and then your server if you're interested in uh, watching the whole thing uh, go ahead but yeah just making it easier for both server players to catch up on what's happening and yeah let's go so starting with the changes for both servers uh, first of all we're getting a new Magitech air bike it is a craftable ride that requires materials from the arena the battlefield uh, from the hero area etc and uh, it has a fast movement speed and basically just a decorational uh, new ride. Second of all, Altered Leather can now be crafted in the Processing Tree. It requires level 7 uh, in order to unlock it and you can craft it once a week. It requires 20 uh, Tough Leather to craft the Altered Leather, but this is another way to acquire the uh, outfit if you are not able to farm the Baphomet. The battlefield ranking is getting added and this will allow you to climb the ranks uh, based on how you participate in the battlefield and the top 20 people will get increased rewards, uh, the rest of the people will get uh, these rewards after the season ends. All summoners are getting one uh, new skill each, meaning that uh, the main three attributes, the fire, water and the wind ones, will get uh, updated skills, changed skills. So. Uh, here are the Orbia ones, uh, then there's also Kina, which is getting their skill 2 changed, and uh, Cleef is getting his skill 2 changed as well. Rune Alchemy is being added, it's basically an overhauled menu of the old uh, rune management page. Here you can uh, first of all craft runes from materials that you acquire from the hero area, and you can also do other various things with your runes, such as combining them to increase the star grade. You can also uh, transfer the power-up levels from one rune to another. Unfortunately, only the NA server is getting the 6 star runes. Uh, for the Europe, you are getting the rune alchemy page, but you are not getting access to the 6 star runes just yet. Now this will be a super big change for both servers and uh, sky stones are no longer available to be listed on the exchange center. This means that if you were a buyer, uh, your way of acquiring sky stones will be significantly reduced. If you are someone who was selling them, uh, this means that you will not get as many Rahil orders from it. However, to compensate for it, uh, the developers are adding different ways to acquire more sky stones in the game. Now, uh, both servers are receiving uh, one particular event, and that is the Bunny and Merchant request. It will start appearing not from today, it will start tomorrow, and it will last a week. Uh, from what I'm understanding, you will basically be given a task to get certain materials, and you will be rewarded uh, with gold for delivering them. There will also be a login as one event available for uh, all servers, and this means that you will have to log into the game on your phone and on your PC to receive the maximum rewards. If you only play on one platform, you will be only able to claim these rewards uh, through that platform. And I've tested this in another server. Unfortunately, if you do not uh, play the game on the PC and only play perform on the phone, you will only be able to claim the bottom row and with no way to claim the top one if you are logging in on your PC. And now uh, for some change, uh, this is a negative change in my opinion and the souling skill with the lowest mana will be used first uh, when both of them are set to uh, the used option. This is a horrible change. Previously, uh, the skills that were used were based on the situation. So for example, if you had Konamiya, it would uh, usually either use the cooldown boost when uh, your monsters were sort of full HP and use the heal when your monsters needed some healing. Now uh, it's getting changed to where the lowest mana skill will be used. This might not impact Konamiya as much, but for example, something like a Tion, uh, where his heal is actually one mana more expensive than the cooldown boost, uh, that AI is pretty much gone. And yeah, 
it's so I don't know why they did it, but they sort of ruined uh, the whole use of having both of the skills selected. Auto mining isn't and gathering is getting added as well. So uh, the amount of times you can mine and gather will be based on your account level. This is of course to prevent bots uh, from getting a lot of all the mining going. But if you're level 50 or above, which is very easily reachable, uh, even if you're a free to play player, you'll be able to gather or mine 200 times per day on auto. And if you have the summoner pass, it's actually five times that. And you are able to mine and gather up to 1000 times on order per day. And this is a one awesome change for, uh, as sort of a consequence of uh, Skystones being removed, is that Skystones will now be added to Elite Raid Battle Support Rewards. Uh, the final amount is yet to be determined, but I'll look into it as soon as the update drops. Okay, now that we're done with the changes that affect both servers, we're gonna be jumping into the changes for the NA servers only. So, first of all, uh, the new region Contana is being released. That will, of course, come with its own story quest line. It will have its own AD exploration. It will have its own world boss or field event boss, whatever you wanna call it. That is regions, uh, the Contana town, of course. And, as you know, it will also have uh, the new repeat requests, which are hopefully with a buffed rewards uh, compared to the previous ones. We are also getting a new Herbal Wisdom outfit, which can be crafted from the closet. And uh, this is sort of a Contana focused outfit. So here's what it looks like. This is for Kina. Uh, this is the Orbia one. And uh, this is the Cleave one. Also to celebrate the Contana release, uh, the Fairies are also getting transmogs. I believe this will be acquired from the uh, deployment ceremony event, uh, which if uh, looking at the Korean server is the same as there, it will basically just be seven days of uh, logging in. And on the seventh day, you will receive all five uh, transmogrifications from free. Now, the big change we've all been waiting for are uh, six star runes are finally being added. So uh, there are several ways to acquire them. First of all, you can get them from the Path of Adventure Hard Mode Dungeons. Also, you can get them from a doing a rune combination. And this means that if you combine three five star runes, you have a small chance to get a six star rune from it. Another rune focus change on top of that is that we're actually getting two new sets. So that will be this destroy set and the shield rune set. Uh, destroy is basically uh, just destroying the max HP of the enemy by a portion of the damage you're dealing. And uh, the shield rune will be a rune that has a 3 minute cooldown and will constantly refresh the shield that is based on your attack. So it is a great option for damage dealers, especially in those situations where the fight will not last long, as that allows them to get some extra protection. And as mentioned previously, Path of Growth is getting uh, the new hard mode levels. Uh, there will be two levels in total and uh, the six star hero and legendary grun grades uh, will be available to be acquired from there. Uh, you will also have to of course fight a new boss as far as I understood and the power limits will be way way higher but it should still be uh, reachable for those more late game players. Now, some changes to Expedition, and these are amazing changes in my opinion. First of all, uh, one level of a hard mode is also getting added to the special Expedition. And uh, this mode will have a chance to drop six tyrants from what I understood, uh, from the ex a ex not a exploration, uh, special Expedition awards. Also, instead of uh, the special Expedition being available 20 times per day, it is now seven times per week. So. The rewards will of course be adjusted uh, to match it and there will be a lot of less time wasted on doing this dungeon. Also here's a change that you will love uh, because I know that previously uh, there were really no good free to play options for strippers available and the, the easiest ones were either the light dark nat force or uh, the nat 5 units. Now uh, we're getting a new monster story for the Fire Pioneer. So sad if you have wasted scrolls, but uh, I'm happy for everyone who didn't have a good stripper, especially an AOE stripper, because now it will be available for free and it will allow you to counter certain aspects of the game a little easier. So here are the total rewards. 
The last one is of course uh, the full uh, five star fire pioneer. So some changes to the Galgas wounds as well. First of all, as you know, the magic order selection system is added. This means that you are able to adjust the difficulty, able to adjust the elements of uh, the Galgas. And uh, in turn, you are able to get additional rewards such as the fine stones, Galgas coins and gold for completing uh, those stages in harder or easier modes of uh, the dungeon. And uh, this is another small change which should impact some people and that is that 6 star runes can now be acquired from the Galagos ghost shop, from the ghost merchant that you sometimes encounter in the stage and also from the treasure chest uh, you can now acquire 6 star runes and I know this will be a good change because both of these rooms were pretty useless previously and now they're getting some additional use in case uh, you are sort of left with no option apart from entering it. Also, the rewards of two dungeons are being changed. So, uh, as you know, Kalia, the Twisted Marsh dungeon and uh, the Seal dungeon previously dropped 5 star legendary runes and now those drops are getting changed to 6 stars. So, for Kalia, that is an amazing improvement as you will be able to easily get a uh, despair and a uh, vampire runes from there which are pretty rare rune sets and cannot be acquired otherwise and for the seal dungeon of course if you do some of the support rewards uh, you will be able to get some six star extra runes on the side some improvements to the hero area so uh, the hero area quests are getting some extra rewards first of all it will be the summoner transcendence materials so if you haven't reached level 70 yet, uh, this should boost your progress a tiny bit. And uh, we're also getting some sky stones from the hero area. Of course, this is to remedy the change that they are no longer available from the exchange shop. So if you are someone who isn't buying them regularly, uh, this will be extremely beneficial to you. And if you were buying them, uh, this will sort of just try to make up for it a bit. Now, this is actually a pretty big change to one of the game mechanics, and that is for bombs. So, uh, now when you remove a bomb with a general uh, remove harmful effect, so for example, units like Ariel, Annabelle, stuff like that, uh, that do not focus on specifically removing bombs, but remo removing any harmful effects, you will now actually take some damage from the bomb. Uh, it will not be the full damage, but it will be a part of the damage. Still unsure what uh, part of the damage that is, but this is sort of a direct buff to the bombs. And now only the remove bomb effect will allow you to not take any damage uh, when removing uh, those bomb effects. Another big change, especially for the more free-to-play player crowd, is that we are now getting additional restoration stones. So previously we could only get two a month from the TOA resets, now we're actually getting additional ones from the Arena Shop and the Moon Shadow Shop. So from the Arena Shop, it costs 1,000 uh, Challenge Arena tokens and it can be purchased once per week. And for the Moon Shadow Shop, uh, I'm still unsure, but I will put a screenshot on the screen right now uh, to see how many uh, you can purchase per week or per month and uh, what the cost is some big balance changes to a single unit and that is the oracles of course uh, this is before uh, the oracles are being released so that the players are summoning them uh, with uh, the new skills as informed so uh, first of all uh, the fire oracle juno is getting small nerf in my opinion uh, first of all uh, the gain mana passive will be reduced from being a 50 percent chance to a 33 percent chance that should reduce the amount of spam that is happening with the strip. And uh, the scaling on the skill is getting changed from uh, purely being an attack one to having some additional scaling on max HP. The water one is getting a similar scaling and is getting some additional damage on her both charge skills. So first of all, uh, you are getting additional max HP fixed damage uh, when the target is asleep. Fixed damage, of course, refers to a damage that ignores defense, any harmful reduction effects, and it will just straight up do 22.2% of the summoner or the enemy's uh, max HP. And also, if the target is asleep, uh, the damage is getting buffed from 20% to 30% of the max HP fixed damage uh, with that ultimate. The Light Oracle is also getting some buffs. So first of all, scaling is adjusted again to scale with more max HP rather than attack. Uh, her 
third skill is getting an additional uh, harmful effect removal, so buffing from 1 to 2. And also the recovery that you get will be buffed from level 1 to level 2 continuous recovery. And lastly, she is also now getting immunity for 14 seconds, so this is sort of a very big buff. The same effect is being added to their ultimate as well. Now, the Dark Oracle is getting sort of a change with matches more of her similar to Sky Arena form. So, first of all, uh, her strip will now, instead of removing two beneficial effects, will remove one. That skill will cost one less mana, and if a beneficial effect is removed, you will be stunned for 3.5 seconds. This is how it acted in the previous game, and it looks like it's being added here as well. And it will also decrease a cooldown of her other skill by 3 seconds if are used on her. Her third skill is actually getting her mana increased, so from 4 to 5. The range in which the skill works is getting buffed slightly and it decreases cooldown of passing time, so the other skill uh, instead of being from 100% to 35%, so this sort of means that uh, Gianna will now be a bit better in a non soling slot due to all the cooldown boosting and reducing rather than a soling one. It will also either move one beneficial effect when applying the bomb and if that beneficial effect gets removed uh, the cooldown of uh, the second skill will be reduced by a further 70%. So this sort of adds an extra condition instead of just straight up removing the cooldown by 100%. Uh, you now need to actually remove a beneficial effect for it to work. And uh, the skill will of course no longer stun as the stun is getting added to the second skill instead. We're also getting a lucky bingo event and this event is different from the one in the global server so do not be confused there and do not check the video that I've made yesterday as it will not apply to you. For us, uh, we are actually getting uh, four leaf clovers from the path of growth rather the essence dungeon and it will take a significantly higher cost to actually clear these cells. So from what I'm seeing right now, uh, it is not worth refreshing entries and you will not make any profit even from the cheapest one. But it will be a decent boost to the overall rewards that you get. And uh, there will also be a Update Eve quiz event where you can get two 5-star Rainbow Mons for the next week. The questions here are super simple, so uh, if you do not want to try to figure it out herself, I'm gonna tell you the answer in a few seconds, so if you're not interested, skip like 20 seconds forward. If not, uh, here are the answers, so the first one will be the Contana, so number one, second one will be the Fire Pioneer, so the number five, and the third one will be 16, as we just seen, so basically number three. And now we're going to be looking at the changes that are happening to global servers. So only the changes that aren't a mixed for both servers and are only global exclusive. So first of all, of course, you're getting the boiling water for raid added. I haven't made an updated guide on this. I do have an older one or if you feel like that one is outdated, I do recommend checking out uh, from some of my other YouTube buddies as they definitely I saw uploaded some updated YouTube guides on the boiling waterfall, uh, so you can find some information there. Also, the hero area is being added, and I already made a detailed guide on that yesterday. Also, in my channel, you will find that I uploaded a five part series on how to counter each mini boss in the hero area dungeon with free to play uh, friendly teams. So, if you're interested in how to solo those or how to build a safe team around it, uh, you can make sure to check them out in my channel or I'll leave them in the pinned comment uh, below. Also battlefield mode is getting added, so this is a 9v9 uh, mode and it can be entered three times uh, a day and you'll get uh, three additional entries for crystals and uh, these can be stacked up to 12 times in total. They can overlap up to 14 if you ended the previous day on 11, but make sure to use them up as the rewards you get in the battlefield are extremely OP and they will help you progress uh, through the game a lot. Now a new monster has been added to the game and it is the Oracles. Uh, they have been recently patched uh, 
with a balance patch so it's still hard to determine if uh, the power has been adjusted a lot and we'll see how it does in pvp over the next few days but uh, the monster is being released and of course with the monster you're also getting a banner event for it so for the next two weeks you are able to summon the fire water and a uh, wind oracles spoiler alert uh, the fire one is by far the most op as of now uh, the wind one is pretty lackluster however with the bomb changes coming uh, it will be interesting to see how it plays out and uh, the water one did receive a pretty significant buff so it's still hard to determine uh, which one is the best after the change so uh, we'll play around we'll try to face some opponents that have the oracles as i personally have not summoned a single one myself and we'll see how it uh, plays out now another exclusive change to the global server is that you are getting a new five star dark heart magician added this unit will be available from the monster story and you will need certain monsters to complete it so if you've watched me previously you will know that i always preach that you should I uh, use the Holy Trinity as well as the uh, Water Hull and uh, the Wind Marshal Cal for your progress because now uh, those units will be needed for this quest. I believe you will need level 70 and Awakening level 10 uh, to complete this quest. And yeah, you can find it in the monster story. After completing it, you will receive the full uh, Dark Hard Magician unit uh, after the quest. And it is a great healer, however, it is an F5, so whether you want to invest into it or not will be up to you and based on the current monster box that you have. Now, I'm not sure if you've had a collection challenges previously, but it does say season 1, so I'm assuming it may be a new thing here. So, for the next week, you are getting some collection challenges and you can access them by going to the main menu menu clicking on the book and they will be in the collection challenge on the left you can do these collection challenges to complete uh, for various rewards and for this one this will be super important if you're still uh, very early into the game and are struggling with farming level 15 of path of growth the water lich is an amazing unit uh, for one of the dungeons for the forgotten earth shrine this unit will single-handedly boost you by like three to four levels if you use them in your team so if you're struggling to farm something like level 11 or 12 off one of the path of growth dungeons this guy might just be uh, the key to getting that level 15 completion and i'll also leave a video in the pen comment about the water lich when it came out in the na server you will see how op it is in that dungeon and if you're struggling, I definitely recommend uh, building out and testing him out in the Path of Growth. Also, some new transmogrifications are being added to the global server. So, uh, with IRL money, you can purchase the Oracle ones as well as the Marshall Cat ones. And you can see how they look right here. So, these are the Oracles. Uh, these are the Marshall Cats. Also, uh, you are getting a... Uh, 5 star vampire transmog added and this one you can actually craft from the processing uh, profession if i'm not wrong however do check uh, the professions i'm not exactly sure which one it is in but uh, for this one it is uh, oh it actually says right here alchemy yeah so in the alchemy one i think you need around level 5 to craft uh, all of them so do check it out and if you like any of the transmogs consider uh, buying them or crafting them from there there will also be a new outfit added uh, to the purchase shop as well so this will be the night festival outfit and it will of course have a certain bonus uh, to your account so this is how kina looks in it looks like she's just throwing like four pumpkins here but i will not question that uh, this is how the orbia looks like pretty cool and uh, this is how the cleef looks like in it and together with the summoner transmogs, you're also getting a new ride. So this will be the Witch Broom. It will have a fast movement speed, meaning that uh, if you haven't had a fast movement speed uh, ride yet, all of your movement speeds will be upgraded to fast after purchasing this one. However, it's definitely not needed as you can upgrade your movement speed to fast uh, by just purchasing a mount from the Trial of Ascension shop. Another amazing thing is that the restoration stone is being added to the challenge arena shop it costs 
1000 uh, challenge arena tokens and it can be purchased once a week so this is an insane buff when you think about it because previously you could only get two of these per month now you're getting around six to seven per month which is a huge jump not only in being able to use a lot of different units but also uh, these are amazing for raising your account level because you can reset a nav 5 unit and uh, power it up once again for like close to eight or nine thousand uh, account xp if i'm not wrong and to top it off uh, the global server is getting some events added so first of all it will be a sort of a login event where you can receive uh, some items as shown right here so the skill book uh, you will receive 50 uh, random essences so you will get an essence box and you can open it for one random essence per box and 200 breath of lives and you can receive this for a whole week so it looks like what six days yeah so you can see these times six very decent rewards uh, to boost up your progress especially the breath of lives and uh, there will also be a hot time event that will last for 11 days actually and it will boost uh, the xp you get by 30 percent this is a perfect opportunity to level up your summoners to level 60 if you haven't already because they will be used uh, for the hero area quests and the second event uh, will be uh, two new coupon cones being added so as you can see right here these will only work on the global servers and these are to celebrate uh, the new raids and hero areas being added so uh, raid push 23 and white raid will uh, give you these rewards and they are available to claim for four and a half months so you have plenty of time definitely no rush in doing so but do not forget to use them eventually although now that i check the comments it looks like people are having trouble redeeming them so uh, make sure to wait around if they are not working right now as they may just be a recycled one from the previous uh, NA server as I know we had those as well so yeah make sure to wait around if you see that it doesn't work today uh, wait until tomorrow if not you can even make a bug report or uh, look into contacting some uh, computer support for assistance in redeeming those and yeah that's about it for the updates uh, will be interesting to play out the new update on NA and I'll definitely be making some videos about Six Star Wounds, about the new content that there is and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.